if you wanna let the Discord get no you can. Hello, hello. We're gonna go for a new game and hopefully we are not gonna run into any game ending bugs this time. Because that would not be fun. Hello everyone and we will get started. All my life there will be bugs. Helpless. Tons of bugs. Cheated. Stepped on. I was always the little man. The square peg. The forgotten one. But that night, everything was gonna change. I was tired of just sitting around. Accepting my fate. Getting comfy here. A rat hole apartment, Adjust my, a my crazy seat. So I decided to do something about it. I had the perfect plan. My destination untrackable. The stolen cash. This game traceable. is so like perfectly I'd 90s, like creepy FMV writing. Like it's like sleazy and dirty. But of course, there was a hitch, a fly in the ointment, or should I say, roach? And yeah, just like the bug puns are so thick. We all love bug puns. My bags were all packed and ready. Tickets, passport, a change of clothes. I love how the cat's name is Franz. I was no longer the victim. This time, <laughs> he's I so fluffy. Was in control. Yeah, it's, it's Sam's and Franz. By sunrise, I'd be on a plane to Mexico. With a big smile on my face. And a small fortune nestled at my feet. <laughs> if it wasn't for my idiot landlord, I'd be there right now. Sipping margaritas. And basking in the warm glow of a job well done. Your fairy godmother? Open up, Sam. Oh, it's so awful. Get some nerve coming up here at this hour, Eddie. Where's my freaking rent, Sam's? You'll get the rent in the morning. Your rent's three days late. I'll take it now. Don't push me, old man. I said you'll get it in the morning. <laughs> Looks like you're packing up Why for a trip. Why is he so aggressive? Like you skipping out on me? Uh, yeah, <laughs> Jim I'm Carrey skipping with out. Willem Dafoe's teeth. Look, if I pay you now. <laughs> Get the hell out oh, of here and leave me alone. Sure, sweetheart. Sure, I'll leave you alone. All right. Now go back downstairs to that roach-infested hovel you call a room. And don't bother me again. It's an awful lot of money to have laying around in this neighborhood. And your door's open. Maybe next time, you might want to lock it, huh? Man, this place is a regular, like, roach motel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. That's good advice, Eddie. Sorry, I'm I'm a little drunk and a little high, so I can I can get away with that right now.
Something crazy happened when I looked at that necklace. That's look at those special effects. It was supposed to be my mother's. A weird feeling, like a twisted spell. Bad. Oh, it's though. amazing! I love it. It's so good. My brain reeled. My knees buckled. And then there was black. Oh wait, till October. The like October. And somehow I'm gonna do nothing but like nineties FMV horror games. Like all the time. I'm, I'm already planning it out. I need to start detour, running them, so I actually know what I'm doing. Of my soul. But I'm gonna run this, and I'll do Harvester, and Phantasmagoria 1 and 2, uh, 7th Guest, 11th Hour. If I can find a copy of it, I want to play Drowned God, but I don't think it's actually like a horror game really so but it's still really cool it's like a a mist type of game one of those like quantum puzzle type games Oh, it's so good. The wind whale will suck you into the belly of a beast. Its blowhole will whale. catapult you to the south and to the east. One way there is peril, hardship, and dismay. One way brings you closer to the Dominican cachet. But there is another option, another clever tack. You may evade the wind machine with a bold high wire act. do this I always I always have to come up here and be like Simba everywhere that the dust touches is your kingdom <laughs> oh this game's great you can I think I picked it up for a dollar fifty on the last steam cell I got this and I got harvester both for like three dollars You don't want to walk in front of his mouth, because if you do, he'll eat you. And it, it scares you. Well, it scares me. It's like it's it's with its last dying breath. It's like oh yes, yeah, a fucking roach. Let's eat it. Oh now I'm in the glue. It's weird because it's like controlling a cockroach with tank controls, which surprisingly works very well, but it's still awkward. So, 
I told this story the last time I streamed it, but it's a good story, and... Oh, fucking Christ. Um... When I first saw Bad Mojo, I was like... Probably 12 years old. No, I was younger than that. Uh... No, I was probably 12. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I was a kid. Uh... I remember I was at Best Buy, and my dad was letting me pick out a computer game, or a video game, just whatever. And I was always really big into point-and-click adventures, so I went over to the computer games and I was looking around. And I saw this game, and I thought it looked really cool. And I remember asking my dad if I could get it, it was like 20 bucks. And he looked at it. And I remember on the oh, to be used in the lab so along for with penalties for the offenders. The forecast showers and thunderstorms today with strong southwesterly winds to 37 miles per hour. We'll have a high of 59 degrees with the temperature dropping rapidly towards this evening. The showers Yeah, the cover was definitely a little creepy. The overnight low Rain tapering radio. Hey friends. Yeah, see, hey, frauds. Come on up and give old Eddie a kiss. That bastard, Sam's. What a pain in the ass. Looks like I'm gonna have to get a new tenant. Damn. Come on, Frazzy. You can help me paint the bathroom, huh? So no, I remember what really attracted me about the game was like, I knew it was a point and click adventure. Well, it, I knew it was an adventure, it's not a point and click, obviously, but, uh... And it looked really cool. And I remember on the back of the box, there was a picture of a rat with a whole bunch of razor blades in it. And like... I could tell, I could see like the gears working in my dad's head, and he was totally gonna let me get the game until he saw that picture with all the, the razor blades and the, the rat. And I think he figured out, or figured that maybe it might have been just a little too more, too mature for me. So, unfortunately, I didn't get the game. But I got it now, like, I don't know, two decades later, and I've still yet to beat it because the last time I was streaming it <sighs> no shit the game got too buggy to beat and Splinter was here he saw it but yeah the game ended up getting too buggy and I couldn't beat it That's actually a really cool part, too, with the rat and the, the razor blades, I mean. You know, I'm sure PETA would have a filled day with it, but... I mean, I'm not PETA. I, I don't mind a little animal violence. As long as it's not real animal violence. Uh, I didn't get past the wire, I got on the wire so like the weight of my body made the wire dip into the paint and the paint caused the wind well to short circuit. So I was able to get past the wind well without it sucking me up. I didn't want to get blown out its blowhole anyway. That doesn't sound like my idea of a good time. So 
I I will be saving, which I should do because you can't. There's no auto save. So. But I'll save right before the last part where uh, the game likes to get super buggy and not let me finish it. I actually don't know what anything in the game says. I'm not one of the people who like stops and reads every document Ashley is, so I don't really know what anything says. Because I don't know. Oh no. Okay. Oh no, no worries. Thanks for watching. Like I don't think I would stream if I didn't have people to watch, so thanks for keeping me company. And watch me play some really cool games. Ah, damn it, I always do that. Okay, so this needs to say, what is it? Seven, six, five, eight. get these videos posted Monday and Tuesday so if you want to watch them again they'll be up on my channel anytime after that but I'm gonna try to post almost all of my successful playthroughs on my channel I was like, hey buddy, where are you going? But he just wanted to keep running past me. Okay, fine. Alright. Now I have to... Rug the, the big fat guy. And... Get him to sit on his bed and spill change everywhere. So I can go across the Dominican cachet. And into the wall which I'm a cockroach I don't know why I can't just crawl up the wall and into the wall socket anyway I don't know why I have to have a little bridge I, I am a cockroach Go get out of the gravy Where are you going? And cutscene. Damn radio. Yeah, I guess so. Jesus.
I guess it's just a little buggy. Ange? He really fills her here tonight. I really feel that you're with me here tonight. So now we go drug the old fucker. Kept the drugs out. Dr. Doze, it's a... It's a mighty sleep aid. So it's not just any sleep aid. Damn cockroach soccer. Oh, this is so awful. Like I gotta line it up between my antennas. So in the advanced options for this game, the advanced graphical options, all there is is to turn off the cockroach's antenna or not. That is the advanced options in the game. Oh, whew. I thought I was gonna have to push that thing all the way back. Yeah. Basically, yeah. I know, Angelina. I know. I drink too much. I smoke too much. Forgive me. I'm just a lonely old man. I can't sleep to save my life. It's like, the first time I watched this cutscene, I was like, holy shit, like, that was some powerful fucking sleeping medicine. But then I noticed in this playthrough, on the bottle, it said Mighty Sleep Aid, so that explains it all. She ticked like a time bomb. Well, and then we dropped it in like alcohol, which I'm sure probably wasn't a good guy or a good idea. That guy doesn't look in the best health. He's a little overweight. I don't think mixing sleep aids with alcohol is probably the best for his heart. Like we could have potentially just killed him just by putting a sleep aid pill into his beer. Oh, just in case we don't know, we're in San Francisco. We'll see it like a million more times. He got hurt somewhere along the line. Yeah, you know, it's, it's the Dominican cachet. We made it. It's it's Mecca. Praise raise er, praise roach Jesus. <laughs> 
Okay, I'll stop. Sorry. Mr. Petito, your wife's going into labor. Doctor, I think she's in trouble. Get me a tube of blood out of her eye. I'm so squirrely tonight. Jesus. You're gonna rip your placenta here. Baby's still dropping. We're losing her. She's gone. Damn it. All right. Save the baby. I'm gonna cut. I see you. Step. Yeah. Oh yeah. And she was losing blood pressure. Mr. And I'm sorry. She lost some Your fairy dust there. there at the end. I assume that was supposed to be like her soul leaving her body. I don't know. And away we go. Are you laughing at me? Do not fear me, little one. I am your guide and friend. Do not loathe your appearance. It is merely a mask through which truth may be conveyed. Ask yourself who you are, and look all around you. For what you type are of there, woman wears a cockroach pendant? There is another who is part of you. A great fire <laughs> right? burns in the cellar of your heart. Be like, that's not gothic chic, that's like Grandma Goth Gotti. Oh, they're all super dramatic. I love all the little, like, bug buddies you meet. Like, we're gonna meet Mr. Silverfish here in a minute. Maybe it is a scarab, but it's awfully thin to be a scarab, though. Like, I mean, maybe it's just cheap construction. Mr. Petito doesn't exactly look like he's a, uh... Oh. Whatever the opposite of frugal is. That's the key. Laser cut from from blue plastic. A cockroach pendant. Oh, nice. I want to know who just has like a used razor blade slot in their medicine cabinet that goes directly into their fucking wall. How irresponsible is that? Who fucking does that? And then like, you get down to it and you get like huge clusters of razor blades just sitting in your wall. Like, yeah, what the fuck? That could cause all sorts of bad stuff. Like that. No wonder his bar has been shut down. Right. They they clustered up just perfectly to uh fall and kill the the rat daddy. Woke up really fast.
This was the, the screenshot on the back of the box that prevented my dad from letting me get the game. Yeah, that part. <coughs> Excuse me. Once you you know what you're doing, like, uh, Splinter watched me the first playthrough. Like, I I fumbled around a lot more. Um, once you know what you're doing, it's it's pretty quick. I think I had been playing it for two hours the last stream, and. I probably had like with it, 10 your more fear minutes dies well. when the bugs started kicking in. Fear is the but we're already coming up on about the halfway point. The, of awareness. the means to solve any dilemma lie at your disposal. Right. Remember, where there is fire, there must be smoke. Answers smolder in the recesses of thought and on the precipices of great fountains. I like this game because it is basically... You're basically playing a movie and... It's like... I don't know, it's, it's one of those that I wouldn't say it's like Heavy Rain or Indigo Prophecy that it's like playing a movie, but it's one of those where like you definitely play the game for the story, and the story's very bizarre, and it's really surreal, and I really like the ending of it. Ashley does not. Ashley thinks it's it's weak. I thought it was uh, very fitting, but hopefully we'll get to see it this time. Hopefully the bugs don't take over. Yeah, like I said, we wonder why this place is getting shut down. Yeah, uh, and the riddles are done so clever. Like, the puzzles, there's like one bug or a mouse or, you know, things tell you, like, give you, like, the riddles that have the answers to solving the puzzles, but they're all in, like, I don't know pest terms, like household pest terms, like the wind well and shit like that. But yeah, I think the... I don't know if there are multiple endings. I only know of the one. Um, I guess there are multiple endings. Yeah, I, I guess there probably are at least two. I would think, because I can totally see how the ending can split. But I don't know actually how many total there are. I, I'm, I was bad and I did not do as much research as I normally do on my games when I stream them, so I honestly don't know anything out uh, about this game's production or anything like that. Right. No, the, the wind well just cracks me up. It's like, you, you're, you think about it and you're like, that's fucking ridiculous. And then you think about it and you're like, well, I guess to a bug it is like, like, what the fuck does it know? It doesn't know any better. So in the kitchen, we want to drop this spoon into the garbage disposal and go down the garbage disposal. The way we are going to do that is by... Oh, well, let's talk to the fish. He'll tell us. Too late for us a savior. Our lives are at an end. But continue your behavior with another hapless friend. Fire bars your entry. It will not let you pass. Save the crippled sentry. Breathe the noxious gas. Yeah, I don't know how a rich would know what a well is. 
But yeah, basically there is a fly in this level that I need to get him to like piggyback on my back so we have enough weight to knock the spoon into the garbage disposal. But to do that, I have to go through the stove, which is turned on, so I have to go and kill the pilot light to kill the, the flame in the stove. And then I can go through the stove to go out and get the fly to knock the spoon. Oh, gross. That's nasty. I'd never seen that, that before. That was gross. I hate maggots. Like, I'm playing as a cockroach, but I see a maggot and just lose it. Right, yeah, it, it totally walks differently on, like, if you get stuck in sauces or paint or things, like, it'll kill you. Like, I can't get through that, I can't go up there because I'll burn. Um, so, like, basically I have to bridge down through the bacon. It bridged down through the bake, and it sounds like a country song. And then, like, you get through here, and then your escape gets cut off. And then you gotta push this this way. So that's, you know, that's right, so thumbs up for that. And there's the pilot light. <laughs> what? Okay. So now I gotta breathe the noxious gas and save my crippled friend. Oh, he's not a fly, he's a cricket, that's right. Cause that's him chirping away. I'm coming, buddy. And now we have enough weight to knock the spoon into the garbage disposal. Friendship is magic. I don't actually watch MLP, I just know that's a thing. I actually figured that's that was an MLP thing. I figured that out from playing Rust, actually. Because I got a, a friend, and we always played Rust together, and he's a big brony. But, uh, I remember we raided this house, and they had a billboard that said friendship is magic, so instead of destroying the house, we decided to, like, keep it and make it like an outpost. Well, hi, it's Anxious Heart. Hello, dear. How are you tonight? That's the way. Get out of the chili. Sounds like something I would say to a dog. Jeez. 
she's gonna be bad and break diet. She's gonna be be bad and break diet. They are actually really, really good. We went on an exotic cereal shopping spree the other night, and we got some really good cereal too. Oh, not the maggots. Wouldn't it be funny if I walked in the hot sauce and, like, I caught on fire? I'd be like, wow, that's some hot sauce. Like a spoon in a garbage disposal. And it was. We we have an amazing Asian market here in town that has incredible ramen. Okay, get in the garbage. Get. Questions can never be answered. Do not ask, who am I? Ask instead, who made me? For great pain was suffered at your birth, but great love was the spark of your conception. Love can still flourish in the soil of death. Have this we figured out what's going on yet? I mean, it's pretty obvious by this point. <laughs> it always reminds me of uh, Mr. Petito, I'm sorry. that old Jerry You're Connell interested. movie, Joe's Apartment. I promise you. Some honeymoon this is. It's raining. I'm freezing, Eddie. Got it. Well, you'll never be cold again, baby. I promise you. So many this is flashbacks. the happiest day of my life. Mine too, honey. And there's gonna be a lot more. Yeah, I think it did come out about the same year. I actually have it. I could go check the date, but we're also all on, you know, computers. So if we wanted to know that bad, we could all check the date. But yeah, I do think it was around 96. It was one of MTV's first movies, I think. Right. <laughs> 
right? It's like, hey, this is your mom. Wait, this is Petito's wife. It's like, what? Who's a what's it? Fucking termites. Ugh. I don't know if there's actually any point for me being in here except to talk to, like, the termite mama. But I'm pretty sure she just gives me, like, a puzzle clue. Right, Mama shows up here. <laughs> These walls hold frozen memories, happiness, and strife. One man's hidden enemies, a sad and broken life. In a dozen fancy bottles, life's sweet nectars dwell. A recipe is the motto for one man's living hell. Sip the colored fluid, each in strict progression. Remember all that you did, and consume them in succession. So, booze, yay. Oh yeah, hey, we're in San Francisco, in case we forgot. Nothing left. Nothing inside of me. No one to love. No yeah, home. there's a lot of trippy effects. No I just love all like the surrealism of the game. I was a it's... fool to think I could be anything without her. And I guess the whole thing is just the bar very was surreal. just a crutch, and they kicked that out from under me. There's only one thing left for me to do. How selfish you are, Edward, my love. Have you forgotten your child? Remember. There was a boy, unwanted, neglected, unloved. He grew up alone, bitter, cold, and hardened. He's in trouble, Edward, more trouble than you. Find yourself in him, save each other. I will help you and him to see. Angelina. Was I thinking? I know I shouldn't laugh, but it it really is just that awful. Although having said that, it's still a great game. And I love playing it. And it's very interesting. I like this song a lot. Oh shit. Let's stay away from the cat.
Oh, right, the peanut boat. How could I forget? I love, like, the diggies, like... Fucking ridiculous. Guess what drink we're gonna be making here? It's awful. Making the bad mojo. And look at this fucking drink. Seven ounces of grenadine. Six ounces of blue curacao. Five ounces of brandy and eight ounces of vodka. That sounds... That sounds absolutely awful. Not to mention that that's like... That's a big drink. That's a lot to drink. Like you think, six ounces of blue curacao, that's like half a Coke can. Like, that drink is ridiculous. Not to mention, it's gonna be sweet as hell, because seven ounces of grenadine? It's gonna be awful. Yeah, it's it's gonna be awful. <laughs> That's what I knew. It's gonna taste like cough syrup, more than likely. See why they call it bad mojo. Oh yeah, nah, it's the name of the game. Yeah, if you wanted sugar, I guess, then, but, you know, this is a bar and most people don't want sugar water to drink. Okay, so what is it? It is grenadine, curacao, brandy, and vodka. And it gets all buggy here. Know the chain reaction that is part of all things. Okay. Thanks for that. Curacao. Yeah, it's, it's nothing special, and she's like, remember what you did and repeat them in order or whatever. She just means, talk to the bottles of liquor in the order that it was listed on the uh, drink instruction. I don't, yeah, it's really convoluted, the instructions there, but... Don't give up yet. Not gonna give up until the game gets so buggy that I can't beat it. And that's not gonna happen this time. Does that happen last time? Yeah, I guess they did need some kind of puzzle. But. I feel like the puzzles start off really strong, and then by the time you get to the bar, they're kind of, they, they really kind of peter out. <laughs> if you hear me now, then you have truly sacrificed. Know the chain reaction I haven't that sacrificed is nearly as much as Ethan from Heavy Remember, Rain, man. That guy like cuts off his finger. Ripples. And it goes crawling through and glass animals. and gets electrocuted. That's Mounting sacrifice. I just turned into a cockroach. until there is a spark, and then all is lost in fire. But it is never too late to help those in the path of the fire. They need only to be warned in time. Oh shit! 
Max Effect Cat 2. All of what was optional? Oh yeah, yeah, all this stuff he even goes through is totally optional. You could just like, pussy out of all of them and never do anything and get arrested. That's right, I need to talk to people. I can't talk to people on the phone, but I need to listen to my messages, because I'm an important roach, and I've got important things to do. I've got places to go and people to see. I got programs to write. What are you down watching here. I can't over there? For you much longer. You better be oh. ready Monday morning because they're gonna rake your ass over the coals, man. Call me back as soon as you get this message. You better have your resume ready. I'm super important, Roach. I should save here though. Seven oh six p.m. Because it starts to get buggy here. Oh man. That is getting buggy. Save file, the save format. BMJ. Yeah, that's what it reminded me of was the fish people from uh Lisa, the noise that they make. Yeah. Okay, where am I? Come on, there I am. Yeah, I hope I can actually finish the game this time. I would really like to be able to finish this. So, you know, knock on wood. I actually get to it. Fine. Go up the shelf. actually have to check the fax machine first and find out that it needs paper before I can trigger the fan. That's stupid. Well, if I was to speedrun this, I would know to do that first now. It is good thinking music. It's the song titles actually called Pondering Lonely. And I made that up. I, I can't. I, I can't let that go, that was bad. So I think that's what I needed to do, and now I can go figure the fan to blow paper into the tray so I can get my goddamn facts. Why do I why do I care about getting a fax? I'm a bug. This whole plot's buggy. There we go. I really thought I was going to have a lot more bug puns for this, I'm sorry that I don't. Um, I'm kind of let down 
myself, honestly. Right, and it's hilarious how the, the fan just manages to blow the paper right in the tray. You can't even put the paper in those trays if you're trying to. But the fan manages to blow it right in there. What type of paper did we put in that fax machine? Like... A bridge of paper, but it's not got like... That's so weird. It's just like, hey, let's put this roll of paper in here that doesn't exist. No one uses paper like this. But, <laughs> yeah, not fly paper. We gotta watch something here. If you see me now, then you have also seen a man who's lost all hope. He's running, trying to hide from all the anger and fear that has plagued him. You cannot run from fear, for no matter where you go or what lies you may believe, Truth always stares back at you from the mirror. This fly is is the shit. I love this fly. Or this moth, I mean. He's so majestic. Man, back in 96, this would have been dope. Like, this must have been the shit. I bet this blew people's minds back then. The Polyphemus Moth? I don't know too, too much about moths. But I've heard of that moth. Oh, you did it now, Franz. Now I'm on the ground. I don't need to be on the ground. <laughs> right. probably have, if everything goes well, there's probably like 10 minutes left. Oh god, I fucking hate that. It got me last time too. The weird chanting. I will probably never stream Subnautica again on the sole purpose that I don't want people to see me lose my shit if I ever get grabbed by a reefer leviathan because I cannot handle them. So you probably won't see me playing too many like jump scare games. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, totally. You gotta have the obscure chanting. Somewhere in every game. I might actually have to stream some Dynasty Warriors 9 soon because a lot of people have been really just shitting all over it and I love it. I think it's amazing. Uh, I'm sorry, Ant. I'll be but quiet. I never could have raised him without you. Take good care of him, sister. And make sure he gets these when he's old enough. The bar room. It's no place for a kid. Don't you worry, Mr. Batista. We're his family now. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ant. We're his family now. I totally forgot what I was talking about before that cutscene. Oh, Dynasty Warriors 9. Yeah, everyone's hating on it. And I think it's such a wonderful breath of fresh air in a game that was stagnating. And I really hope that they plan to do the same thing with the next Samurai Warriors game. And I know a lot of people probably don't agree with that or agree with my opinion. But you know what? Hey, that's what makes it my opinion. And I don't really give a fuck. Because that's... That's, that's true. Right. Now I should be going into the final part of the game, I guess. Knock on wood. I should be going into the final part of the game. Which is... Unlike the rest of the game, it's actually like time you can mess it up. And I suppose that's probably where the other endings will come in, is if you don't do everything in time. It's, it's a lot of fun. I actually, like a lot of people don't like the open world in the game. I actually really feel like it gives me a better chance to like, strategize honestly like I get to route my troop movements the way that I want to do them to hit certain missions upon my way to my objectives oh hey yay I think it's gonna work for us everything is relevant and nothing is real time now has meaning and the bell tolls for thee the spark is ready and waiting. You barely have time to act. Remember all that you have seen. Recall all that you have heard. Flush your memory of tainted thoughts. Act decisively. That which smolders may awaken the dreamer. Run from the fire, but not the flames. The answer is family, not fortune and fame. Oh. Okay, this is the tough part because you gotta remember what tube goes to eat and goes where. I do believe this is the bathroom. It is the bathroom. This is where I need to be. I don't need that coin. I don't need to talk to the silverfish. I know it's so like new. Okay, so that's good to go. this up last time and that's what happened is I had to like reset 
from my save, and then like it was bugged from there on out, and I don't know exactly it was the deal. There we go. So I got Papa Batito up. So that's good. Wake up, you drunk slob. Like, okay, dude, I get it, you were in the military. You don't have to sleep on your, like, military cot, like, 40 years later. I was in the military, too. I don't go sleeping on cots. And it's like he had, like... He had, like, a getaway bag. He had a bag just, like, ready to get his shit to go. Bug out bag, thank you. Oh, I did, I missed a great pun opportunity. Oh, I could have been like, oh, he's gotta grab his bug out bag and, and scurry on out of here. I don't, that was awful, I'm sorry. Get out of here, Bugs. What are you doing? Place is gonna blow up. I thought cockroaches could sense that type of shit. Oh no, I don't need to talk to you right now. Get out of here. Yeah, no, you should get out of here, though. Place is gonna blow up. Sam's. Y'all wake up, man. This is intense. I did it in time. One min or one hour, thirteen minutes. Oh, I'm I'm definitely gonna hold on to it for October. We'll be seeing this again. Now we enjoy the wonderful ending. I'm so glad that the bugs didn't get the better of me. Not this time, bugs. Smell the gas? Boom. That was what the heck awesome. Was that? Epic. Whoa. Epic explosion. Hey, 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 where'd you get this? <laughs> that was my mother's. My God. Jeez. I gave that to her. So happy to. Your That's why she had the cockroach pendant. My because Papa Batito has horrible about? fucking taste. Look. Father? Yeah. We must be. <laughs> I don't freaking believe it. I don't believe it either. But how else do we explain this? It's it's a I wonderful ending, dear. I love it. It's so happy. Let's get out of here. Let's 
Let's book it from the cops. Before Eddie told they... me about my mom the spec and does. about the night she died. He felt so bad that he gave me up without even thinking about it. He regretted that all these years. I felt kind of guilty about blowing up his bar, so I took him with me to Mexico. I bought him a little oceanside canteen Fucking in Belize, criminal. where he does pretty good with the tourists. They me? basically... Well, I set up a little lab down here to study roaches in the rainforest. And Eddie and I get along just fine. They just, like, committed insurance fraud and w ran away to Mexico. After he can committed, like, fraud, stealing all that grant money. So what was in those faxes, I'm sorry. Uh, apparently our boy Sam's was, uh... Was... Uh, scientists researching bug pesticides or some shit and apparently he got a large grant and that's basically what he was doing was he was belling out with all the grant money and going to Mexico so like it's not like you're playing a particularly good person either like he's kind of a fucking roach But, wonderful game, I do love it. Uh, when I do it again in, in October, I promise I will look into a little bit of the development of the game. Maybe pick the creators, like look at interviews picking the creators' brains and stuff like that. Um, I'll try to, try to spice up the game a little bit. It, it it did it felt very convenient 